Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing four really easy and delicious crock pot meals. It is the season for all those yummy, warm, comforting meals and some of the best ones are made in the crock pot. I love when something can cook all day and all those flavors marry together to create a really yummy meal. So we are starting off strong with a roast. We have not had a roast in a long time and my parents gave us this one from a cow that they just bought so you know it is fresh so I started off by peeling and dicing some carrots and potatoes went ahead and added those into my crock pot and then I'm just going to heat up some avocado oil on the stove and get that nice and hot one of my favorite things about using avocado oil is it has a really high smoke point so it's perfect for anything like this or if you want to fry something it's really delicious we made okra fried in avocado oil and it was seriously some of the best okra I've ever had so if you haven't switched your oils over to avocado oil yet I highly recommend it and I will always push for it because it is a little bit healthier so now I'm just seasoning up my roast I did some kinders the blend which is basically salt pepper onion powder and garlic powder on both sides and then I did a little bit of paprika next I'm gonna take some flour and kind of coat this over both sides of this roast really well this gives it kind of a nice crust and it's also gonna give us some really really good flavor so I'm just gonna mash that in and then we are going to lay this in our skillet and let it get nice and brown on both sides Now that our roast is nice and brown and full of flavor, we are just gonna stick that in the crock pot. And then for some added flavor, I took some chicken broth. You can use beef broth, but I didn't have any. And I'm just going to add that with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce right into that hot skillet. And I am just gonna get up all of that good stuff that's stuck to the bottom of the pan because that right there is some good flavor and we do not wanna miss out on that. So just scrape up all those little tidbits, let that get nice and warm, and then just pour it right over top of your roast and I forgot to season my potatoes and carrots I think I showed you here in a minute I tried to move them around and season them however so much flavor does come from the roast I wasn't too worried about it so I just added a little bit more of that kinders the blend and then pop the lid on and we let this cook for about nine to ten hours My mouth is seriously watering watching this back and you know it's good when it literally falls right off the bone. This roast was delicious and so comforting. And then for the next night, I did something really, really easy. It's this chicken and gravy, and I think I've shared it before, but I highly recommend it. So I just threw in some chicken tenderloins, and then I'm going to season that up with some paprika. And then I also did some Kinder's The Blend. I always add that into everything, but I forgot to show it here. One can of cream of chicken, and then a pack of chicken gravy mix. Sometimes I do one or two packs. It really just depends on how much chicken I have I do recommend using two packs of the chicken gravy just for some added flavor and then a little bit of chicken broth probably about a cup let this cook on low all day or you can cook it on high for about three to four hours these chicken tenderloins do not take long at all to cook so some days that's really great if I'm getting a late start and then we just shredded this up once it was done placed it over some mashed potatoes that gravy is really good on the mashed potatoes with a side of broccoli and this made for a really quick and easy dinner. So 
so for crockpot meal number three this is probably a tie with the roast for my favorite and I know I say every meal is my favorite but there's just so many good recipes out there but tonight we're doing taco soup and we've been under the weather so soup sounded really good this week so I started off by browning up one pound of ground beef and then I drained off any excess grease Add that right into your crock pot with one pack of taco seasoning mix. Now what I love about taco soup is you can add so many things to it. You can make it really healthy. You can add pretty much anything you want to it. But my favorite version is one can of corn, one can of ranch style beans, which if you have not tried ranch style beans, here's my plug for them because they are so good and they add so much flavor to any meal. And then I'm going to do one can of diced tomatoes. I did throw in a small jalapeno pepper. I just seeded it really well so that it wasn't too spicy. And then a little bit of chicken broth. I did not drain off any of the juice from my cans. So I left in the corn juice and the tomato juice. It adds really good flavor. So just add that all in your crock pot. Let it cook on low all day. Really let those flavors kind of marry together. And then we top ours with some sour cream and then a little bit of extra jalapenos. And of course, some cheddar cheese. the Hallmark Channel going playing Christmas movies we are still under the weather right now um, and so this bowl of soup just sounds so good taco soup is one of my favorites this one's so delicious I was afraid adding in those jalapenos would make it too spicy I think it's perfect plus that paired with those ranch style beans it is like the perfect combination. You guys need to try it in your taco soup. I don't think you'll be disappointed. The recipe is of course linked down below, but definitely give this one a try. You are gonna want it for those really cold winter days or like us, we're sick today. So this bowl of soup is just the perfect way to end our day. So for the next crock pot meal, it was something that I kind of ended up throwing together. I had some chicken that I needed to use, so I threw those in the bottom of my crock pot and seasoned them with the usual Kinder's The Blend, um, some paprika, and then I also did a little bit of extra garlic powder, but you could do minced garlic and that would be really well. And then a little bit of Italian seasoning, some chicken broth, and then one can of diced tomatoes. I do wish I would have added in maybe half a block of cream cheese. I think it would have giving it a little bit more flavor let it cook for a couple hours and then add it in some half and half or you could do some heavy whipping cream as well dinner is almost done my house smells amazing I wish you guys could come and eat dinner with us and then I'm also cooking up some spaghetti back here on the stove or some spaghetti noodles and then I'll just dump those right into my crock pot mix everything together probably top it with some cheese you can never go wrong with some cheese and then there you have a quick and easy dinner and I especially love chicken so anytime I can do like a crock pot chicken dinner it's just gonna win over my whole family, but especially me. So this one's very simple and it's kind of a very fresh meal as well. Once you dump your noodles into your crock pot, let them sit in that juice for about an hour so it can absorb the good flavor. And then we topped with some mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. This one was so delicious. I hope you'll try it and I will see y'all next week with some more recipe inspiration.